Hello everybody, this is Ashutosh Pandey and I would be dealing with the current affairs section of your engineering services. When we are talking about current events okay, and current affairs, okay, so they make a different you know, uh, logic. Current events are more about the information, the news that we have every day. Uh, uh, let's say every day some events are happening place and they are being reported. So they are the current events. Whereas when we talk about current affairs and current issues, so current issues gives a different perspective. It is, it talks about a long term issue which has been existent. For example, if I say women empowerment. Okay, so women empowerment is a very broad issue. If the government makes any law, any program with respect to women, so that will fall in the current event category, not the current issue. The issue would remain a perpetual issue like women empowerment or crime against women or something or something. So we'll talk about all those things. What exactly is the difference between a current event and current affairs and current issues? Okay, your syllabus talks about, a, you can say a structure that the current issues related to or current affairs related to social, political, economic, okay, issues of national and international importance. So it has created a kind of roadmap that okay, these issues have to be understood with respect to the nation, Okay, or the internal affairs and also with respect to the external affairs. So what scope it creates, that is the next important thing. That shall we go for reading the newspaper okay, or shall we go beyond that, we must study the general knowledge also. Okay. Or shall we go for some other references like government records, okay, government websites okay, and there are so many other government manuals. So uh, our curriculum design is basically to cater to this confusion that students have. We, will, we are mostly focusing on varied sources, but the logic of using all these references is that how objectively we can assess that what can be asked in the examination. Basically our purpose is to predict that how we can tone down, how we can slim down the content of the current affairs because it is vast, it is huge. Okay? And it creates or it is a very time consuming process for a student to identify what are the important issues. Okay? So for that purpose, Okay, we have tried to create a, a kind of pedagogy that we are going to I mean, uh, compile current affairs for a particular number of days okay, and prepare tests on that. Oh, objectively, you can say put that information in number of questions and make you practice that. So what do we do? We, what we can segregate it. Let us say we divide it into social issues, cultural issues, political issues, economic issues, international issues okay, and even other issues like environmental, okay, some other international, some diplomatic issues can also be brought into that, okay. Though that will be catered into some other sections also. But more or less, here we can, what we can segregate various sectors, okay, number of policies that have emerged in those sectors, like for example, if I give you, okay, let us say that government has, okay, recently passed a bill or an act for the protection of the rights of the SCs and STs, okay. Now, known as the Protection of Civil Rights Act, 1989. This law amended in 2014, okay. Now it increases the definition of, let's say, offense against NSC and ST. Punishments are now strong or rigorous, okay. Now if I say this is a current affair, this is a fact, okay. That, okay, this law has been made in 2014. And what is this law? It is an amendment of the earlier law, 1989, okay. But what is the issue that I can derive from this is one that what are the problems in the implementation of this law. Okay, that will become, that will give me a number of issues. <clears throat> that why it cannot be implemented or what problems it will face while implementing, how the justice would be done, okay, what are the problems associated with the identification of a victim, okay, and so on and so forth. So see, from this current affair or from this, sorry, current event, I am taking out the current issues. Then I can historically link this event to some other issues like what is the traditional caste structure in India, okay, and why this traditional caste structure has contributed to the exploitation of certain sections of the society. So this linkage we are going to develop from the historical perspective to the current event, to the future issues or to the, or you can say in aggregate, to all the current issues that dominate, okay, which are in news today, okay. So sectoral classification is more easy, okay, for a student to understand. Okay, we can divide it into number of sectors, policy, law, institutions, under these sectors we can study and then link them to the current happenings which are going on every day. So news items can be classified separately, 
issues can be classified separately and once you know both of them then they can be linked together okay number of questions can be framed on that so all this national and international issues can further be linked once we identify that this is the information this is the fact this is the issue and these are the broader aspects of this particular area the essence of current affairs is okay that we must be aware we must be on toes of what is happening every day okay and probably that is the logic of the upsc putting this into your engineering services okay so you need not be afraid of the current affairs okay you cannot mug up current affairs in one day okay let's say slowly and gradually over the time you have to understand so it's better to understand the issue then whatever news you get you fit into that issue okay uh, so this is one way we are going to tackle the current affairs okay thank you